Hi, hi. Welcome, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to make my birthday cake. Well, I went ahead and I pre-baked the cakes. So I'm going to stack the three of them together and I'm going to frost them. And I'm going to put the recipe in the description, but um, just for curiosity, for those who can't wait, <laughs> um, I'm using one butter, 227 grams, to four to five cups of icing sugar, depending on how sweet you want your cake, your frosting. So I went ahead and creamed the butter here. I'm going to add the icing sugar to it now. Okay, so this is the consistency we're looking at. See, it's going to be spreading very nicely. We have a very spreadable consistency. And what I did, you can add one tablespoon of milk to your four to five cups of icing sugar and 227 grams of butter. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to level here. If you have a, um, uh, the leveler, you can use it. If not, you can use a knife and just come straight across. So whatever is excess in height there, you just level it off. Okay, so this one is basically leveled. Doesn't have much to cut off at all. Yeah. Right, so let's go to the other one. Right, so let's cut the second one now. Again, it's not much to really cut off. Let me go a little deeper. Right. So I went ahead and colored the frosting because I'm doing it um, in green and I'm just stacking it here together now. Crumb pudding. And I'm going to put the other one to the top. And I'm going to go ahead and finish. Coating this here. So just continuing crumb coating here now. This makes it a bit easier for me by putting the frosting in a piping bag. Then I'll just use the offset spatula and smoothen it out. Right, so here we are. Okay, so after the crumb coat, I 
placed it in the refrigerator to firm up a bit as you can see it's firm yeah and I'm going to put the top coat now so same thing I'm just going to go around here with the frosting and make it easier for me yeah I'm showing you This is for the top coat, of course. And then I'm going to take this spatula and smoothen it. So here I'm using this scraper and just smoothing around here now and you will see some spaces so for instance here so what you can do is take your small take your small offset spatula and just fill it and then pass the scraper over it again to get rid of all the imperfections yep so I'm just gonna pass the scraper again Here we are, I'm going to smoothen it out now, yeah? Nice. So that's it. That's it. Clear your scraper that's it and of course the top let's let me get to the top now So these are the colors I'm choosing, I'm using here, I'm just going to go, and I have a Russian tip, so I'm just going to continue putting my flowers, oh that one is falling down, I'll fix it eventually. to use another tip it's not holding properly on the sides so 
this is it here so far. I'm going to bring it I'm writing a little closer. Yep. So I'm done. I had a fight because of the climate. The temperature is really hot. Um, yep, yep, yep. But I'm finished. This is it here. Yeah, I'm done. I'm all finished. Yep. This is isomalt. I did a. Um, <laughs> I was. I melted the isomalt to make a top. Uh, you know those fancy toppings, but it cracked. So I just stuck the pieces here, looks like broken glass, and that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, yep, 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 mm-hmm, so that's it guys.